Hey guys, what year is it? Could you tell me what year it is? Because we've got a 2D Mario game going head to head with a 2D Sonic game, and both of them are actually pretty good. So we're gonna talk about Super Mario Wonder, and we're gonna talk about Sonic Superstars. And we're gonna talk about which one is selling better currently, and uh, how these games are stacking up critically. So this is Neon, this is Clownfish Gaming Video Game News. Uh, we talk about whatever's going on in the gaming industry that day. We also do a lot of gameplay videos. So check out the gameplay videos on the channel. Uh, it's much appreciated, but yeah, we like to keep up to date with what's going on. And the biggest news right now in gaming seems to be Mario versus Sonic. Like it's freaking 1992 again. I don't understand what's going on here. Um, but both of these games are pretty good. I had a chance to play both of them and uh, I, I do enjoy them. Now, objectively, I do think Mario is better and critics seem to agree with that. But Sonic, weirdly enough, overall is still the most popular or most searched video game character. I'm not kidding. Even with the movie, well, maybe since the movie has changed, but we're, we're gonna talk about that. Let's talk about the sales first. So Super Mario Brothers Wonder is the fifth biggest physical launch in the UK for 2023. Don't know how it's doing in the uh, US yet, but in the UK, it's doing very, very well. Sales are significantly better than new Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. That's like a mouthful, right? But 62% less than The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Um, they said significantly better than last Mario. Uh, 2D Mario games are longer term sellers, so sales can remain consistently strong over an extended period of time. I, I do think this one is gonna sell very well over the holidays. It's worth noting that Super Mario Odyssey's physical launch was bigger, but due to digital downloads growing in popularity, overall launch sales may put Wonder on par, if not higher. Now let's go out to VG charts, right? Um, it has an article called Marvel Spider-Man 2 debuts in first on the UK retail charts. Super Mario Brothers Wonder debuts second. Now again, these are physical releases, not digital releases. A lot of people buy their games digitally now. Uh, so Spider-Man 2 has debuted in first place on the UK retail charts, according to uh, GFK data for the week ending October 21st, 2023. PS5 exclusive had the biggest retail launch for a game on PS5 this year with sales nearly 5% higher than Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy did extremely well. Despite all the controversy, the controversy, despite all the controversy, Hogwarts Legacy sold very, very well. Launch sales for Marvel's Spider-Man 2 are 3% lower than the PS5 launch of God of War Ragnarok. It should be noted that Spider-Man 2 launched on a Friday and Ragnarok released on Wednesday. Now, let's talk about Mario. Super Mario Brothers Wonder debuted in second place and slightly outsold 2009's new Super Mario Brothers Wii to make it the biggest 2D Mario launch in UK history. Launch sales were barely behind 2017 Super Mario Odyssey and 2020's Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Excellent collection. However, we needed Galaxy 2 in that, just my opinion. Super Mario Brothers Wonder had the fifth biggest retail launch of the year with sales 62% lower. Hmm, 62% lower than the other big Switch exclusive this year, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Well, it's Zelda, and historically, every Zelda game is an event. I mean, Mario games are, yeah, but Zelda games are like freaking, you take the day off of work to play Zelda, right? Sonic Superstars debuted in fourth place with launch sales 63% lower than Sonic Frontiers. 49% of retail sales were on the Switch, 34% on the PS5, and 10% on the Xbox, and 6% on the PS4. People still play PS4. Uh, after three weeks in first place, EA Sports FC24 dropped the third place. Yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really into uh, sports games too much. Sorry guys, I'm not. But uh, Sonic Superstars fourth place, Mario Wonder second place, and of course, you know, Spider-Man, which is, again, it's weird being PS5. I guess more and more people are getting the PS5. Even with Ugly Mary Jane, they're still buying uh, the Spider-Man game, right? So let's talk about the reviews. Uh, Sonic Superstars, according to Metacritic, has generally favorable reviews, but the critical score is 74. 
There's a site called GameSpew. GameSpew? Seriously? GameSpew. God, GameSpew. Uh, so, yeah, so that was pretty good. It's pretty okay. However, Super Mario Brothers Wonder gets a 93 universal acclaim. Yeah, I was, it was weird. Like, I saw the trailer for Super Mario Brothers Wonder and I thought it looked okay ish. Uh, I wasn't super pumped for it though. I just kept thinking it was like new Super Mario Brothers Wii. And then, you know, once I saw the game in action, I'm like, oh, no, this is, this is like really cool. This is kind of a throwback to, you know, Mario World and, um, a lot of those classic, uh, classic platformers, uh, you know, it's, it looks pretty cool. I haven't played a whole lot of it, but what I played is pretty good. So it's, it's getting better reviews. And a lot of people are saying this is, this one's probably gonna be game of the year, you know, but Hey, Sonic's not doing too bad and Sonic, like they need to stick to 2d, you know, for Sonic, like Sonic does not work in 3d. Uh, Sonic mania was fantastic. Um, it, you know, and superstars is pretty good. From what I play, again, from the little I played of it, it actually is is pretty good. But again, you know, Sonic fans, our expectations are very, very low. Now, this reminds me again of of uh, the 1990s. Uh, you know, back in the 90s, it was Mario versus Sonic, and and you either loved Sonic or you loved Mario, but for some reason, you weren't allowed to love both, right? Uh, you were not allowed to love both characters. You were not allowed to have both systems, even though a lot of kids have both systems, the Super Nintendo and the Genesis. But yeah, you were not allowed to, to like them both. You had to pick a side. And now everybody just kind of plays everything. So we've come so far. Uh, we have. But now, this is interesting. I was like, who is more popular, technically, Mario or Sonic? And it turns out that Sonic the Hedgehog is actually more popular than Mario, according to Sci-Fi Pulse. And this came out in February, so this would have been before the Mario movie came out. But they said that Sonic the Hedgehog is actually America's favorite video game character, uh, being Googled more than any other over the past five years at 1.1 million times a month on average. Pac-Man Pikachu ranked second and third. And Mario, Mario misses out on the top 10 completely. I have a really hard time believing that. Do you believe that? I don't really believe that. New research has revealed America's favorite video game characters with Sonic taking the top spot. So the study was conducted by Six Taka, uh, Takara Kuji, I guess, uh, analyzed Google search data from the past five years across every state in the US to determine which video game characters were the most Googled and it was Sonic. However, you have to realize a lot of people Google Sonic and they're interested in Sonic the Hedgehog from the comics and Sonic from their fan fictions or Tumblr, whatever, but it doesn't mean they're actually interested in Sonic the Hedgehog as a video game character. But he's, he's getting a lot of traction on Google. The Speedy Blue Hedgehog has 1.1 million searches on Google every month in America. There's been a resurgence of interest in the character as well as the franchise as a result of the Sonic movies. Uh, first one coming out in 2020 starring Jim Carrey. And there's a third one coming out. Pac-Man is Pac-Man. Pac-Man is the second most popular video game character in America receiving uh, over 750,000 average monthly searches in the US. It's the most Googled video game character in Florida. There you go, Florida man loves Pac-Man. Uh, Pikachu from Pokemon, that makes sense. Kirby, that, that surprises me because I never thought Kirby was like a huge, huge character. Kirby ranks fourth and uh, Kratos and God of War is fifth. Uh, let's see here, Mario. Characters from Super Mario make the top 10. Yoshi. Okay, Yoshi makes the top 10. Princess Peach and Bowser. Mario does not even make the top 10. Chun-Li and Laura Croft complete the top 10, ranking uh, eighth and ninth respectively. Again, that surprised me. So these are, these are the most popular video game characters, the top 10 most popular video game characters in the US, according to Google, according to Google. Sonic the Hedgehog, number one, Pac-Man, number two, Pikachu, number three, Kirby, number four, uh, Kratos, uh, Yoshi, Princess Peach, Chun-Li, Laura Croft, and frickin' Bowser. That's crazy. That's not what I expected. Anyway, guys, there we go. That is what is up so far with Mario versus Sonic rematch uh, 30 years after they had their, their first, over 30 years since they had their first uh, tussle. And uh, I have to wonder who's going to win this one. I think it's going to be Mario. I think overall it's going to be Mario, but that's just my opinion. Uh, please subscribe for more video game news. Subscribe for more gameplay videos. We'll talk to you later.
Thanks for watching. If you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. And check out more videos on the channel, including Let's Plays in art and animation videos here on Clownfish Gaming. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, oh you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she it. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. Can't run him carrying trash. You can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>